We understand that not all signing agents may be interested in working with all companies that use SnapDocs. It's completely up to you though, who you would like to work with. If you would prefer not to work with a company, you can block them. Blocking is confidential, and it means that you will no longer appear when the company searches for signing agents in your area, so they won't be able to send you notifications. You can block the company through a notification you receive from them. When you receive the signing offer, click the option to respond as unavailable. From the additional options provided, select the option that says you no longer want to work with that company. You can then enter in any feedback on why you're no longer interested in working with them. If you'd like to block the company, instead of just sending them feedback, check off the block this company from sending me signings option. And then when you're ready, click the send feedback button. You should then see a confirmation message letting you know that you've blocked the company and will no longer be notified when they have available signings in your area. If you go to your account now and go to your company's page, you should now see that once you've blocked a company, they will appear grayed out on your company's page. Clicking on the name of the company will show you some more information, including the date that you blocked them. If you ever change your mind, you can unblock a company at any time. By clicking the unblock button, you'll be asked to confirm if you'd like to unblock that company. If you would, just click confirm. Otherwise, if you would like to continue blocking them, just click cancel. Here, I'm going to say that I want to unblock demo company, so I'm going to click confirm to unblock them. I can then see a confirmation message at the top of the page that lets me know that the company has been successfully unblocked. And if you check the list of companies on this page, you can now see that demo company is no longer grayed out. So that means that they are not blocked for me. One thing to note is that if you already worked with a company on a signing, they will have access to your more sensitive credentials like your W-9 and your background check report. Blocking a company after you've worked with them will still allow them to have access to these more sensitive credentials. And this is because if the company is ever audited, they will need to have access to this information. Now that you know how to block and unblock companies, this is an easy way to filter out companies who you don't want to receive notifications from.